Secretary uh, si of course our Chief of Staff uh, Santino sa lahat po ng members ng AFP si uh, Secretary Boying Remulla sa lahat po ng mga membro ng NBI and of course the Philippine National Police kay uh, Chief Asuri no? sa sama-samang pagdakit po sa tao niyan yan ay nasa ito po, nasa screen po ayan, si Marvin Alaman Miranda napaka-importante ng tao nito base po sa mga revelasyon no, at uh, confessions ng arrested suspects including discharged former members of the AFP who had a direct participation in the killing of Governor Vigano Marvin Miranda upon the instruction of a certain boss idol Big Boss Albo was the one who recruited them and the person who provided logistical and material support during the planning and execution of the assassination plot against Governor De Gamo. Slide number two, we'll see, we will see here that the record shows that Marvin Miranda, who according to reports is a long-time security and bodyguard, of Congressman Arnulfo Perez Jr. as previous criminal record and was in fact arrested on June 29, 2020 for violation of Republic Act 10591 or the illegal possession of firearms. Upon Marvin's arrest in 2020, he pleaded guilty to a lesser offense and was sentenced to a one to two years imprisonment and method a fine of 10,000 pesos pursuant to a judgment rendered by RTC Branch 24 of Talibo Akran. Marvin is currently under the custody of the NBI and may uh, probably uh, later the NBI can narrate the facts and the circumstances and also with the AFP that led to the arrest of Marvin and other related developments. As of today, the Special Task Force de Gamo have so far accounted for 12 suspects, 11 of which are under the custody of the NDI, while the other one died during the encounter with the government forces on March 25, on, uh, March 5, 2023. Andiyan na po sa larawan na yan, ang labing isang no, mga nahuli po natin. We are now at the tail end of our quest for justice and hunt for the master minds behind the death of Governor Gamo and eight others and the wounding of many more victims. With the arrest of Marvin Miranda, we are certain that the pieces of the puzzle are almost complete and we can clearly picture out what really transpired before, during and after the brazen attack in Pamploma, Negros Oriental, which will eventually help us in unmasking and identifying the main conspirators and masterminds behind the gruesome murder of Governor Digamo and others. Meantime, from March 23 to March 31, 2023, pursuant to a court order issued by the executive judge of RTC Mandalbe City, Composite teams from the PNP, CIDG, the PNP, SAP, Provincial EOD, K9 Unit of Negros Oriental, the 11th Infantry Division jointly implemented a search warrant ag against Pride Henry Alipi Teles in a HDJ Bayawan Agri Ventures Corporation. HDJ Colon Compound located at Barangay Paranoche, Santa Catalina, Negros Oriental for violation of Republic Act 10591 or illegal possession of firearms and ammunition. The implementation of the search warrant resulted in the seizure of seven long firearms, ang yung kuya sa screen, mga naakuwang mga barrel at ammunition of different make and caliber different components of high-powered firearms, nine short firearms of different make and caliber, hundreds of magazines, and around 9,000 rounds of light ammunitions of different calibers. 
the police operative also stumbled upon several IEDs, IED component, while they were conducting the search for the firearm indicated in the issued search warrant. These items were buried approximately 10 feet under, under within the grounds of the compound and the searching team had to use back home to dig and recover the scene. Nahikita nyo po, no, dito sa screen ng mga video, ito yung actual na video na andyan ng mga ibigan nating mga media. Maraming testigo, nakita nyo kung paano kalalim ito, nagpastao ito. Siguro, kulang-kulang 10 feet po ito. Kaya yung mga nagsasabing planted ito. Naku po, ito na magsasabi pa paano mo ipaplanted, bako nga ginamit namin para hukayin. At tignan nyo ang lupa, napakatigas, no? Lahat po ito, mga kababayan, ay nakuha dito po ang, ang sunod sa search warrant. Itong mga bagay na ito ay magpapatunay sa lahat no, na talagang maayos ang pag implementa ng search warrant. At of course, yung mga patutsyadang planted-planted na yan. At isa na masasabi ko. Tignan nyo yung maigi itong bako, itong video na ito, kung ano kalalim ito. At ito yung masasabi kung anong totoo talaga. Okay? Yan. Kitang-kita po rito. One of the recovered long firearms during the search is a steer 5.56 rifle with serial number AS941125. Yan po ay ginagamit ang mga sniper. No, ang sniper po yan, ibang klasik kalibring bagay yan. This one is registered under the name of Congressman Arnulfo Alipet Tevez Jr., which is among the firearms not yet to be surrendered by the latter after his license to own and possess firearms was revoked by the PNP Firearms and Explosive Office in January 2023. The implementation of the search warrant brought about the arrest of three persons, including Nigel Lagunay Elektona. Ayan po si Nigel, sa bandang kaliwa. No? The chief security of the HDJ Tolom. Based on our investigation so far, he was substantially involved in the assassination of Governor Degamo criminal information for violation or illegal possession of firearms and ammunition were already filed against the three arrested suspects. Meanwhile, the complaint filed against Pride Henry Tevez will undergo preliminary investigation as a matter of courts. Furthermore, during the search conducted on March 30, 2023, in HDJ Tolom compound, particularly nearest to the area, where the suspected IEDs and components were found using backhoe and other equipment, the searching team also discovered the partially burnt pieces of clothing, other belongings along with the wallets containing IDs and partially burnt documents owned by two gunmen who actually participated in the killing of Governor Degamo, namely Joven Javier, Judea Rojas Rivero and are now under the custody of the FBI. The discovered items were processed and collected by SOCO team for forensic examination and proper disposition. With this latest development, we want to convey our sincerest appreciation and gratitude to the members of the task force, especially to the men and women of the Department of Justice, National Bureau of Investigation, Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Philippine National Police, of course, the NICA, and other allied agencies for their untiring efforts and valuable support to the task force that immensely contributed to this positive development. Alam po ninyo, ngayon lang nata sa kaisaysayan ng ating, ng ating bansa, Nasa isang kaso ay, tignan nyo mga sekretary, no, nandirito sekretary of the National Defense, sekretary of the Department of Justice of the DILG, ang AFP Chief of Staff, ang MICA, Director General, ang PNP Chief of Staff, 
ang direktor ko ng NBI o at iba pang ahensya nagsama-sama at ito ang mensahe ng ating mahal na presidente sa kanyang panahon talaga talagang dinitisip po nalit so, talagang lahat ng krimen magsasanib persa po this is ang tinatawag natin rule of the nation approach asahan niyo po yan We are confident that with all the pieces of evidence at hand, our pursuit for justice is within our sight. Bago lang po ako matapos, gusto ko lang pakita sa inyo ang dalawang video. Mamaya po, gusto kong uh, makatapos po ito ay higihan po natin ang pagsasalita, of course, ang ating SOJ at ang ating uh, SND. Balikan natin yung nakaraan, mga kababayan. Tingnan po po. Ay, Jay, pakita nga natin yung nakaraan para lang ma-refresh tayo kung anong nangyari. Ito yung mga CCTV footage. Tignan nyo maigil. Ito yung mga dumating na sasakyan na kasama yung mga assassin. Ayan po. Ayan mga sasakyan na yan. At uh, yung mga bababang mga tao. Ito yung pumulaga sa atin nung isang araw na napanood po natin lahat ito. Kumakalat po ito, ito yung mga CCTV. Sige lang, Jim. So, ayan, bumaba. Ayun yung gwardiya, lumabas. Bumaba ang ilang kalalakihan na may dalang mga barer. At pagbaba nila, ayan po, pumasok na compound. Pasok po ng compound. Tignan natin mamaya ang mangyayari. Ayan po, ang inyong wadya. Pumasok na isa, pinakausap siya. Lumapit, may mga taong nagaantay. No? May mga taong walang kamalay-malay na dyan lang. Bigla na nagpakutok. Ito yung mga, mga, mga walang konsensyang tao. Pinagpabaril. Yung mga walang kalaban, laban na nakaw po. Pinatay dito po si Governor Nigam. Bakit namin pinapakita to? Alam po, naramdam natin yung galit ng mga walang konsensya itong mga tao nito. Pero ngayon, dahil sa task force, yung mga bumarin na yun, lahat po yun, lahat yun, ay nahuli na natin. Papakita namin sa inyo ulit kung sino-sino at ano-ano mga pangalan nila. At sila po ngayon ay nasa kustodiyan na itong task force na ito. Si Geji, ayan, umalis sila, tumabo na po sila. Alam ko, noong mga panahon na yan, galit na galit ang taong bayan. Pero huwag kayong mag-alala, ayan, ang bumaba, na-identify na po ng task force, si Yuleyo Legario, Osbundo Rivero Rojas, si Jovel Javier Calibo. Ayan po ang mga bumaba na sasakyan. Si Gilangjin, Ayan pa, nagdagdagan pa, si Billy Chisturis Maloyo, Benji Rodriguez Moladona, Joven Javier Calimbo, Smuto Rivero I. Rojas. Sige lang, Jean. At naiwan itong Romel Patugaan Alaba. Ando siya, ando lang siya sa isang sakit. I-alaba. Hanggang pagpasok ko, pinagsagaran ko ito, ng task force na kilalanin kung sino-sino rin sila, kung sino yung mga bumarero. Dito po. Ayan po. Hindi <coughs> nyo maigi yan, mga kababayan. Identified itong Benji Rodriguez, itong Yuloyo Gunyon, itong Winry Chisturis, itong Osmundo Rivero, itong Oven Javier, at itong Romel Patagman. Lahat po ito ay accounted Sige lang. Ayan po mga pinagagawa niya, mga demonyong yan. Ayan, tingnan niyo. At ayan na naman po ang kanila mga mukha at mga pangalan. Ang nasa nagtakbuhan na po sila. Okay. So, Okay na, Jim. Thank you. Ito'y pinapakita lang namin para ma-refresh po tayong lahat. 
mga tigan dumagete, tigan negrosyo na kayo matakot. Hindi magwawagi ang kasamaan dito. At sa mga nakikinig, kayong importante dito tayo papadaig sa takot. At lalong-lalo na, huwag natin ibebenta ang prinsipyo dahil sa pera at naanlihan. Ay matakot na ditong gobyerno. Ang presidente mismo ko ang nagbuto sa amin na nagpulito. Makakampang po natin ang gusto At this point, gusto ko rin mo sana ng uh, pagsalitay ayan at pasalamatan ng aking mga kasama. Talagang sa kanila po, kaya nalaki po si Marvin. Siguro, unahin ko na po muna. At yung po muna si, uh, si, uh, si, uh, si, uh, si Charlie muna. Si Charlie po muna ang unahin po natin. Si Charlie Galvez ng uh, Department of National Defense. Magandang ng hali po sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsama sa aming ngayon. Magandang ng hali po sa ating lahat. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsama sa aming ngayon. Sa ating press conference, kasama ang ating chairperson ng Special Task Force ni Gamo, our DLG Secretary Benjamin Avalos Jr. and co-vice chairperson ng SDF ni Gamo na si POJ Secretary Crispin na Jesus Crispin na Rimbunyan. Over the last few weeks, our security and law enforcement agencies have been working tirelessly to get the bottom of the uh, brutal killing of uh, Governor Digamo and several others. With the clear directing of the President, the DND, and the Armed Forces of the Philippines and its intelligence unit, for our part, collaborated with our partners, with the PNP, the DIG, and the NTI, and also with the uh, NICA, to help build the case against the suspects. Ito na karang PMS lang po, nagpahayag nga po ng uh, ating kalanggalan na uh, Justice Secretary uh, na huli ng MPI ang isa sa uh, pangunahing suspects. At uh, wala rin po humpay na maging uh, operasyon ng Joint Task Force Necros doon po sa baba, yung ating mga uh, armed forces at saka PNP na mapanatili ang kalitasan sa lugar ng komunidad sa Necros sa kabila ng nakapahalang incidenting ito. Pagkabat, marami-raming na rin po ang kailangan na uh, upang uh, tuloy ang resolve ang kaso nito, uh, pinabati po namin ang lahat ng agensya, lalo-lalo na ang ating uh, Intelligence Service of the Philippines, ang ating uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines, ang ating kong AP and PNP, at saka ang ating kong NPI, sa agarap kong efektibong aksyon nitong mga nakaraang linggo. Ang PNP at ang Armed Forces po ay patuloy na nandito upang uh, magbigay ng suporta at sundin ang direktiba ng ating Presidente at ang ating uh, Task Force uh, Commander tungo sa ating minibiting ustisya para sa pamilya ng Governor, Governor de Camo at ang mamayan ng Negros Oriental. So on behalf of uh, the DND and the AP team, uh, we, really, uh, we really support uh, kung ano po yung mga uh, uh, gagawin po natin pa sa mga uh, sa SPF, uh, sa SPF de Camo. And uh, we rest assured that the Apos of the Philippines is always here Uh, with uh, the DOJ and uh, the DMD in order to resolve other cases. Uh, yan po ang mga sabi ko namin sa inyo na kami po ay tutulungan upang uh, magtas po natin ang uh, seguridad at ang problema sa seguridad ng ating uh, bayan. Maraming salamat po. Maraming maraming salamat sa Charlie, of course, uh, sa AFP, sa DMD, no? at uh, gusto ko naman mong ibigay ang mikropono sa ating partner naman po rito, ang Secretary ng Department of Justice, kung saan po, andan niya po ang NBI. Uh, Secretary Boying Rimulia po. Maraming salamat. Patungkot isang araw na po mula nung pinatay si Governor Digamo sa kanyang tahanan sa Pamplona ng Eros of Yerban. At uh, during this time, the Department of Justice has been working tooth and nail to solve this case, to bring and to bring justice to those who have been violated, who have been violated and to catch those who violated the law, to disclose an act of violence. With the help of the NBI and the NPS, together with, of course, the LG, the PMP, and most especially, I would say, the Armed Forces of the Philippines to, to the east south and their other special units. 
we have made significant progress in finally putting this case to a close. In fact, uh, last Friday, March 31, on the 28th day of the killing of Governor Carlo, the NBI, together with the other, uh, other elements of the task force, arrested Marvin Miranda, who we suspect to be one of the masterminds in the murder of the, in the murder. Currently, he's with the NBI. Today, we have 11 suspects under NBI custody, and we have all accounted, we have accounted for all those directly involved in the killing of Governor Dinamo and uh, eight others. But, uh, the 11 have been, have been or will be charged with multiple murder, frustrated murder, as well as attempted murder. In addition, some of the suspects will be charged with the destruction of firearms and explosives. Some of these cases have already been turned over to the DOJ. And, uh, through the DOJ main office for the hunting of active prosecution in court for criminal cases. But some have been filed for preliminary investigation before the Office of the Provincial Prosecutor of Texas Oriental and the Office of the Prosecutor General. Now, with regard to Congressman Ali Tevez, cases for illegal possession of firearms and explosives were referred for inquest to the Office of the Prosecutor General. In line with this, the cases for illegal possession of firearms and explosives were referred for further preliminary investigation in order to ascertain if Congressman Ali Tevez is one of those who has actual and or constructive possession of the firearms recovered. In addition to, the, to, to these inquest cases, an additional case for murder was filed for preliminary investigation with the Office of the Prosecutor General against Congressman Ali Tevez. This was filed March 8, 2023. On another note, with regards to a certain lawyer who has attempted to visit the respondents in the NBI Detention Center, we will proceed with caution. None of the respondents have, been enga have engaged the services of the so-called lawyer, despite having been asked multiple times. We can attach strangers to the case, force their involvement. The integrity of this high-profile and politically charged case is of utmost importance. We are now doing our due diligence to see the background of this lawyer, to make sure this person's presence does not jeopardize the case at hand. In last Friday, March 31, I also signed Department Secretary Number 20, which I believe would be a game changer in improving the conviction rate in criminal cases. It will elevate the country's prosecution success rate by improving the current investigation and case building process through the closer coordination between prosecutors and law enforcement agencies. Well, uh, you can rest assured that the Department of Justice has been and will always be committed to evidence-based prosecution of suspects in order to preserve the integrity of the investigation as well as that of the Department. It is in the best interest of the suspects as well as that of the government to resolve this case in utmost respect for legal processes as well as the rights of individuals. Now, going to the role of uh, Marvin, uh, who I said uh, is a major player and one of the masterminds. Kung sa sine natin tingnan to, an analogy to a movie, uh, si Marvin was a director, props, uh, producer of the props, and casting director. Siya po rin nag-recruit ng mga tao. Siya ang uh, talagang kumuha sa mga tao at uh, nag-recruit siya na. Uh, si Pablo Sponteves was the producer or executive producer of the whole production. Ang problema lang, hindi sige. Totoo po yung nangyari, talagang pinatay nila si Bobo Leo Dinamo. At uh, walo pa na din, ang dinamay nilang pinatay din at maraming nasaktan. At yung mga actors dito, yung mga nakakulong ngayon, ah, uh, isang nakakulong ngayon, dati isa. Ang nakakulong ngayon, 11 of them, or of course, meron mga times. Pero, tapos na po. Nakita na natin, kung baga sa police, case close na to, prosecution na tayo magkatapos. But, 
we know who masterminded it, at least who of them, and we know who did it, yung nabing isang kasama sa pinakita namin pictures kanina, sila po ang kasama. And, uh, ganun, ganun na po yan. Uh, we will move on to the next cases afterwards. But of course, well, there will be other edges that we will have to smooth out and smooth it out dito sa kaso nito. But we believe that uh, we are there already uh, on the way to achieving justice uh, in more ways than one. So, yun po ang aking uh, sasabihin ng lahat. Salamat po. Thank you very much to our uh, SOJ, Law uh, Board Secretary and Susan Mugger. Can we proceed now, sir, to the uh, question hour, sir? So before we move, before we start our question hour, may we request our uh, friends from the media to kindly limit your uh, one, to one question and one follow-up so we could uh, open others. But if we have enough time later, we could uh, probably uh, make a second round. So to start the whole rolling, sir, may uh, I call on Mr. Mark Gabriel of uh, Net25, followed by Ms. Leia Ilagan of UNP. Sir, uh, good afternoon. Sa inyong lahat. Uh, sir, uh, ngayong hawak na natin yung mga main players and yung mga conspirator, ano pa mong kulang para makapag-file tayo ng aso sa mga tinuturo ng master? Due process kasi ang um, na-observe natin, hindi natin pwedeng kasuhan na walang preliminary investigation yung dalawa at uh, gano'n ang ginagawa natin ngayon sapagkat uh, ang requirement ng matas ay Baya na sila sumukot muna ng kanilang counter-affidavit at uh, saka natin buhusgahan at yung file ng, ng panel of prosecutors bago ito file sa korte. Ay, ganun po eh. It's two process we have to observe. We have to observe what the law has set aside for the rights of the accused. Yun lang po ang hinihintay natin. But otherwise, tapos na po ang uh, boxing na huli na po natin. Sir, ano mga evidences ang hawak natin na directly maglilit dito kay Marvin doon sa mga masterminds? Testimonies, guns, ballistics, uh, eyewitness accounts, marami po. Marami tayong evidence dito. Sir, yung directa, meron bang usapan, recorded? Uh, How direct do you get? How direct do you want it to be? Kaya, how, direct, how direct do you want it to be? But you ask the question, then I ask you the same question. How direct do you want it to be? Is it not direct enough for the health? Enough, sir, para mag-convince natin ang public na... I think the public is convinced. Yan po na lang, no? Yung sinasabi kasi ni SOJ, yung due process. So, antay na lang natin yung ipag-file. What is important right now na napakita namin, actually, it took me a lot of ano, kung nito kung lang pisa, mga nakwala ng evidence, ang gantulo na. So all of the things that we nakita namin, yun sabi ni SOJ na mga testimony, forensics, etc. Lahat ko ito yun. Definitely maguugay sa mastermind. No, so antay na lang po natin. So last last question, sir. Anastabis na ba natin kung ano ang motive dito at pagkano ba yung patmani na pinag-usap at pinag-usap ng tratado? Uh, wala yung detalye nyo sa akin, pero alam natin, malaki ang politika nito. Uh, may kinalaman ng politika sa pangyayari nyo. Yan na po ang alam natin. Sa ngayon, marahil may iba pang dahilan na bukot sa politika, marahil negosyo sa mga iligal na naaawat sa puro. Pero ang pinaka-direct motive na nakikita lang ng politika. Thank you, Sir Mark. Can we hear from Ms. Leia Ilagan? Followed by Mr. George Galina of ABS again. Good afternoon, sirs. Sir, yung barrel na nakuha doon sa HDJ compound na nakapangalan kay Congressman Tieves, hindi naman po ito yung barrel na mismong ipinarel o ipinatay kay Governor Digamo. Right. Uh, undergoing forensics pa ito lahat. No? Kasi uh, ito yung nakuha na sa HDJ tulong, yung may binabanggit po dito. Yes, sir. Lahat po ito yung undergoing forensics pa. Sir, uh, natukoy na ba natin kung yung barrel na ibinaril mismo o nakatama kay Governor Digamo ay nagamit na sa ibang krimen o nakumpis ka sa mga rates? Well, it, it, hindi pa namin masasabi sa ngayon, no? Talagang uh, lahat pa ito ini-examine. Oh. Sir, kung yung mga 
suspect ay, uh, ay kinuturo yung mastermind at uh, may mga nagsasabi na si Congressman Tevez ito. Meron bang direkta rin na nagtuturo sa kapatid niya kay dating Governor uh, uh, Pride Henry Tevez? Well, ang masasabi ko na ngayon, no, na nakita naman natin yung mga hinukay sa HDJ compound na uh, mga barel plus yung pang mga testimony ng mga nakuha natin at iba pa. Ito yung ngayon na ay talaga tinikumbisika ka na mas kusin. Kasi ang test dito is that it's proof beyond reasonable doubt when it comes to the court. Importante, wala kang duda talaga sila may kasalanan. So, yun yung klaseng ebidensya ang kinakilangan. Kasi ang, ang problema mo rito, ngayon, matindi tayo lahat. But what if, alam naman natin, isang kaso tumatagal ng dalawang taon, tatong taon yan. What if, tapos na yung lahat ng emosyon? What will stand in court will be the evidence themselves. At dapat ito matibay. Kailangan malagpasan mo yung sinasabi ng batas na nun, talagang matig yung, yung proof beyond this no good doubt. So talaga ito kinitibayan ang gusto ito. Sir, let's talk. Thank you, Ms. Lea. May we hear from uh, Mr. George Galino of ABS again. Hi, sir. Maganda hama po. Doon po sa secretary, yung pinakita nyo kanina photo with tags ng mga gunman. Uh, pardon me kung hindi ko lang po siguro napansin. Wala po yung Marvin Miranda na tag doon kanina, no? Dahil sabi nga po ni Secretary of Justice, uh, casting at saka po nag-provide ng mga weapons na ginamit. Ah, doon po ba sa mga suspect na hawak kayo ng gobyerno, meron pong nagtiin sa kanya along the process ng investigation? Well, Actually, kaya na sabi ni SOJ dahil yung labing dalawa na assassins, yung isa na matay eh. So yung 11 hawak na ngayon, di ba? At halos, if not lahat, pinutulo si Marvin. Kaya naman sinasabi naman ni SOJ yun. No? Yung mga, alam mo na, sinasabi niya, mga nag-recruit, etc. Et et no? Nagpadala so, ng pera, nag-recruit, uh, makausap sa telepono. Basta maraming attributed kay Marvin na gawain, kaya we had to get him. Uh, parang sa hand-person pa lang. Ano na eh, on the day itself na nahuli yung tatlo at sumurender yung isa. Uh, on the day mismo na pinatay si Governor Tegamo, and the day after, naglabasa na kagad na lumabas na pangalan ni Marvin. Kaya we were ready in search of Marvin from the very beginning. Kaya nga parang hot pursuit pa yan eh, nahahanap talaga. Hindi talaga namin binitawan na hanapin si Marvin ng NBI at saka ng ISAF. We really, we really had to find this trail to make sure that we got him para mawala po yung doubt as to his existence. Uh, yun po yun eh. Kasi yung lahat ng ibang actors, lahat ng gumanap sa pagpatay, nakasalumuha si Marvin. Sa kanila lang mga testimony. He is part of every testimony. Yun pong testimony ng ibang participants na hawak kayo ng gobyerno na nag-attribute kay Marvin Miranda. Yun po bang attribution nila against Congressman Arantes is similar or different? And then we cannot take it in the same light, About. but as a complete narrative on how the statements fuse together uh, completely. Hindi po pwede i-compare yung apples sa oranges. Eh. Magkaiba yan. Iba kasi yung conversation, point of view sa ibang taong kasama. Pag na-referring to Idol, kasama sa usapan lagi si Idol. Kasama lagi sa usapan si, si Kong. Kasama si Kalbo. Kasama sa ganitong usapan. Pero not, iba yung role nila. They're not the same. Uh, you do not link Marvin D. Paul and Tevez. Kasi magkaiba yung role. Nabagit niya na rin po, sorry po, nabagit niya rin po yung Boss Idol, Kong, Kalbo. Sino po ba doon? Tevez. Tevez you. Oh. Arnie Tevez. Congressman Arnie Tevez. Arnulfo Tevez. Thank you, Mark. We hear from Ms. Lucy de Matulo of CNN, followed by Ms. Marisol of the Romano of GMA7. Good afternoon, po. Sir, uh, may timeline na po ba kung kailan yung, kailan natin possibly masasampahan ng kaso itong si uh, Congressman Tevez regarding sa uh, assassination ng Governor Tegano? Due process na. We just have to serve him properly uh, or, or have an effective service so that we can, that the bill will start running 
para maka-file siya ng kontra affidavit niya. Pero in absentia, we can still file. But we will not, uh, we will not try him yet in accordance with today's rules pagka hindi natin siya naserve pa. But we will look at the other rules possible kasi marami naman tayong ibang uh, trends ngayon with the internet, nagbabago uh, po ang jurisprudence at nagbabago po yung rules. We will see. Uh, we cannot promise you a date, but it will come sooner than later. So you understand we've gotten testimonies already from yung other suspects. Pero yung from kay Marvin Maranta, nakausap na po ba natin siya? Nakakuha na po ba tayo ng testimonies? He's a noise. Uh, kinakausap na siya, but I haven't seen any of his statements. Uh, but he's there. Uh, Nakikipag-usap na siya. Dinanayin niya nga yung lawyer na yun. Yung lawyer na isinusubo sa kanya, na hindi niya kilala, dinanayin niya. Nakilala niya, kinuha niya. Ms. Mary Solov, do you have a name? Good afternoon, sir. Sir, may we ask the director of the NBI, sir, if you can give us a detail po kung how was Marvin Miranda was arrested po? Ah, hindi siguro ganun ka detalyado. Ang masasabi ko lang, ano, March 31, doon sa barangay Mayabay sa Barbasa Antique, nahuli si Marvin. Before March 31, mayroong first attempt, kaya na nakatakas siya. May nakuha ng tatlo. Noong March 31, magandang tanghali na lang siya na muli doon sa Barbasa Antique. Kasama natin na ang composite team dito ng Armed Forces, ng PNP, ng ISA, at NBI sa buong uh, proseso nito. Uh, may kasama siya, uh, yung nauna nga yung tatlo, yun yung nauna na huli. Mountain Resort ito sa Barbasa Antique, Barangay Mayabay. Ito po siya na huli. Sa information niyo po, Director, uh, matagal na po ba siya doon sa area or ano po siya, panipat-ipat po siya? Sa pagkakaalam namin, March 23, hanggang mahuli siya. March 23, ano na sila. Uh, inilabas siya ng necros at uh, napunta ng antike. Secretary Ramulio, sir, or Secretary Ramulio, sir, are we looking for more master people or etong dalawa lang po talaga yung tinitingnan natin mas yung may sakit? Mark Miranda po, and... Uh, we have to evaluate our data more. Kung meron pa yung mga masterminds, but actually, we have more than we have two of them. Dalawa na kawak natin. Pwede sila lang, o pwede may iba pa. But we, can, we have to evaluate the evidence to call another person a mastermind. Thank you, Mr. Mizzou. Well, um, he's a mastermind, no? Um, personally, tingin ko rito, buko dito sa alias Kalbo, alias Boss Idol, Boss Big Boss, Kalbo, tingin ko meron pa. Lumalabas ako. Huwag mo ka meron pa. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Ms. Marisol. May we hear from Mr. Alan Adalson of Ipos Journal, followed by Mr. M.J. Mandihara of SNMI. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Secretary, KSI and Jim, SOJ, sir. Sir, good. Sir, uh, yung mga suspects na 12, na-arresto sila without warrant so far as pa. So, Mayroong sumurender? Yes. Uh, Karabihan sumurender actually. Yung arrested lang uh, dyan, yung tatlo na una, tapos ito si Marvin. Madalas ay hindi sumurender. So, uh, so what will happen to Congressman Tevez in case na mag-decide siya na mag-return sa country? Well, will you also uh, uh, well and good, he can uh, answer uh, questions in the preliminary investigation that will make our job easier. And it will make uh, everything easier for all of us as Filipinos. Uh, we, we can remove uncertainty. But will he be arrested too? But can it When the warrant is issued. We expect a warrant to be issued against him also, of course. Sir, uh, last question, sir. Uh, sa inyong dalawa ni Sekretary uh, Abelos. Sana na-identify na natin yung possible masterminds. 
uh, money to mga to, maraming pera. Um, my question is, have you tapped the services of the AMLAC to investigate uh, yung mga yung mga money nila? Kasi, of course. Si, si Pride, sir, uh, former sir, 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 of course. It's in relation to that, lahat ng klaseng investigasyon ginagawa nito to task force nito. Remember, uh, we've got the NICA, we've got the ISAF, we've got the PNPC, IDG, all of the nation approach ito. Y yun ang maganda rito. It's very, very, very effective. At tama ka sa mga kababayan natin. Maraming pera ito, makapangyarihan ito, maraming nangyari pa sa Negros. God knows kung ilang pang nangyari mga biktima ito. Pero mukhang marami. Kamukha na sinasabi ko, huwag natin ibibenta ang prinsipyo dahil lamang sa pera. Dahil lamang sa pera. Importante yun na ulit-maulit itong nangyari nito. Yun ang mong aking panawagan sa lahat. Yes, I suggest. Well, we will lose all legal tools within our disposal. Lahat ng legal means na meron kami gagawin, gagamitin namin to solve these cases. Sir, uh, last thing also, si former Governor Pryor, nag-issue siya na, at nag-sign ng paper na para examinin yung records niya. Pero ano bang mga cases in the past na yung mga nag-issue ng paper, eh, na-withdraw naman na pala before yung mga pera nila, then they will sign a paper. Alamin mo ito yung I don't see how this will affect the case, though. Uh, uh, Henry Bright Tevez uh, knows what this is all about. Let's make feelers to speak to us. Uh, and uh, we will uh, act accordingly. Gumagod na siya ng intermediaries para mga kusito. Thank you, sir. Mr. Andrew. Sir, sa pagkakang hapon. Sir, uh, kailan po sisimulan yung pagsilip sa mga accounts ni uh, former Governor Bright Henry Tevez given po na nagsumita na siya ng waiver sa DOJ? When we have this waiver, we start to do it. So, uh, may reaction na po ba ang uh, pamilya ni Gamo? Hindi po dito sa Bago Panyo Developments. Nakausap niyo na po ba ang SILG? Ang dito yung kanilang abogado, Atty. Balikot, can you answer it? Uh, ang tanong po, eh, ano rin po ang uh, reaction ngayon ng pamilya ni Gamo?
Dahil nga ito'y sa pagtutulungan ng AFP na nasa crowd ngayon, ng PNP na nasa crowd ngayon, ng NDI, ang lahat po ng ating siya. Kaya i-assure you sa ating mga babae sa Negros, huwag na ho kayo matakot. At ito ho pa malaang para ang proteksyon na kayo at of course, makapagdan yung justisya. Ano na yung mga nakarakampang mga killing scope dito sa Negros. We assure you that, according to Benito. Sir, may be here for Mr. Val Gonzalez of PCRH, followed by Mr. Martin Palada, the PCW. Good afternoon po. Uh, ilang beses at uh, magkanong pera at kanino po pinapadala ni Marvin Miranda, yun pong binabanggit po ninyo kanina na pagpapadala na ni Marvin Miranda doon sa mga uh, uh, perpetrators. Check. Ito. Nasa statement sir. Ito ang narandang na. Pero maraming statement. Nasa na defect. Pero nabanggit din po ba ni Miranda na yung pera na yun ay kinukuha niya? Wala pa tayo doon. Hindi pa tayo tumatin doon. Okay. I haven't, I don't have a statement sir. Okay. So far. Uh, ilan pa po ba yung hinahanap po nating mga suspect po nito sir? Uh, yung possible criminal kasi ano ito eh. Ang investigation na ito kasi. It cannot stop here. It has to look at the criminal organization, possible criminal organization involved. Kaya, hindi naman natin yung ibang naka, nasa periphery ng mga characters kung meron mga involved. And we see a few more people na dapat tingnan natin at investigan natin. Uh, kasi dapat nahinga tayo eh. We know that meron pa makakasakit eh. Baka may may inimag pa tayong tao dyan na nakakasakit. O makakasakit sa atin, dapat maawat na natin. Kaya, as far as this case is concerned, most of them, sabi ko nga, 99% finished na ito. It's just 1% na kailangan tingnan pa natin kung meron pa makakasakit sa ito. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon po. Si Marvin Miranda, SOJ, sabi niyo po kanina kung baga sa pelikula, director o casting director, si Congress Mantepes, yung executive producer. Earlier, you confirmed that po, si Boss Idol, si Big Boss, tsaka si Calbo, si Congressman Teves. Is it safe to, uh, to say na si Congressman Teves yung nagpondo sa mga armas na ginamit sa pagpatay yes. ng government? Yes. yes. Okay. Sir, sir, about to say that. Sir, follow up question regarding that. Sir, si Maranda ay long-time security at bodyguard ni Congressman Teves. May information ba tayo how it all started? Paano sila nagkaroon ng contact at yung recruitment para sa iba pang mga involved sa killings at gano'n katagal itong pinagplanuhan yung assassination? Um, assassination, matagal na pinaplano ito kasi nga may iba ng attempts eh. There were two previous attempts on the life of Governor Di Gramo na hindi natuloy. So, more or less, the plot was there. Established a long time ago. And the people started coming in October. May October na mga tao na parating nakasama sa hit team. At uh, yung last na dumating was March... Uh, March 3 yata o March 2 uh, yung last na dumating na kasama sa mga anak ko ngayon. Sir, last, uh, if it appears to be that Congressman Teres is one of the masterminds in the Digamo killing, sir, magkakaroon ba tayo ng pagbabago sa approach sa kanya? And also, may recent coordination na ba tayo sa Interpol at para mag-issue ng international lookout yung, bulletin? Yung, 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 yung blue notice, madaling ko rin. Yung red notice ang mahilap kasi kailangan ma-file mo na yung mga kaso ng mga kilos. And we really intend to fulfill the record. Sabi ko nga, we just have to follow due process. Whatever, how, how, how painful this law it can be, we have to follow the law so that we do not erase any of our things. Yun lang. Kailangan pasagutin. Kailangan na uh, mabigyan sa kanya yung mga statement. Pag nakasagot na siya, saka mag-decide ng panel, ipapahil niya sa korte. Pag na-file niya sa korte, Thank you, sir. 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 I want to ask about yung kayong elekto na the Chief of Security of the Sugar Bill. Can we get an explanation of what you found out about how he was able to become Chief of Security? Was it under the radar of the PNP? Did they not have uh, uh, any idea that he was acting as chief of security for the sugar mill of, of former governor, President Tevez? Uh, 
this is with reference to Marvin or this is with reference to uh, si Alec Tona? Si uh, Nigel. Uh, Alec Tona. Uh, uh, yeah. So it, it's part of the investigation of the CNBG. It's on the papers. Yes. Thank you. We hear from Mr. Lloyd Lee, one of the uh, previous Okay. Is there any more questions? If there is, uh, yes, uh, we hear from Mr. Uh, Albert Danson of the uh, Consular Sure, uh, may we hear from the PNP. May I say that the attorney believed that uh, there uh, were six, six policemen acting as spotters in the gangway. Sir, KSIMG, may we come up? Probably the BNP will answer this. Uh, BNP or ICS have more than been answered this. Our good lawyer, Sanchez, uh, given the list of the. Sir, when we put the authorities out in the list, we are going to work on it and uh, we are going to um, undergo process. Just like what we have started um, from the very first. Uh, we, when we relieve people from different stations and uh, they have underwent the schoolings and a uh, continuous process being also done to identify other policemen involved uh, or probably connected with the congressman. Ganito lang, no? kung meron bang uh, mag-uusap kami ni Atty. Balibon and we assure you kung sino man ang mga involved na polis dito uh, I'm Napolcom, I'm the chairman of the Napolcom. No? Uh, we will follow the process of law at uh, kailangan uh, maano natin ito. Ma Masuspid na ito, ma matakal mo na ito for the meantime pending investigation. But uh, gagawin po natin lahat. Uh, I-discuss natin maigit ito para para makaibisigan ang kagad namin no? in accordance with the law of law. Yes, we will take action on this, definitely. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. That ends our uh, short uh, press meeting uh, this afternoon. Uh, once again, thank you very much to all our secretaries and other uh, senior officers of the uh, different uh, government agencies. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. 